I really want to make this work. But the game says no, your snowboys are too... <gasps> it worked! Hey, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch. This is day four on the island, so if you missed any episodes, there's a playlist down below. Last time, we had a lot of big developments. Blathers arrived in his tent. Enjoy it while it lasts. We got a money tree sprouting. Learned a lot of new DIY recipes. And unlocked Nook Miles Plus. Oh, man. It's getting a little crowded in front of old Tom. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's 8.57 a.m. this happy Wednesday, February 17th, 2021. We're still in the past a little, but I'm jumping ahead bit by bit. We'll have a couple more days of winter, and then we'll be back to real time. I can't say I have much in the way of news to report to you today. Today is another one of those cold days that chill you through and through. But it's perfect weather for building a friendly island snowboy. When snow's piled up outside, you can sometimes find rolled up balls of snow while you're out and about. Keep rolling them up to make them bigger, stick one on top of another, and you'll have made a snowboy. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> I found a couple of dead snowboys. There were carrots and, and lumps of coal or rocks around. No. But because we are farther ahead, the snowboys we have made already, in including our perfect little snowboy, he's not going to give us any more large snowflakes. But I threw mine on the ground anyways. Didn't value them that much. No. I, I needed uh, to get rid of some inventory stuff, so it's it's sitting on my lawn. It's still, it's still in my, uh, you know, property here or whatever you can call it. Dreamhouse, a home that you built yourself gives you great livability. I almost said viability. <laughs> it's on a whole other level. I'll give nook miles to those who build or expand their home to taste the good life. So we have our first basic home expansion by just having a home instead of a tent. We're a one-room loner now. And we got a couple more to go. All right. And I think that's that was our main one. Let's check out. I mentioned nook miles plus. You want to check these each day. So if we build a snowboy, oh, we get two times for that. Well, they're all two times, obviously. But uh, <laughs> I was still excited. It's still fun. Uh, chop wood, hit rocks, grow fruit, and catch bugs. Pretty basic stuff, so I should be able to accomplish those. Let's check the mailbox. We got our, our new home with our green roof, and a bunch of mail arrived. I forgot I ordered some new clothes. I'm ready to get out of the stuff I'm wearing. As much as I like uh, the striped shirt, maybe not quite my style white and yellow. Esteemed Adam, we wish to express our gratitude for your continued use of the Nook Stop and the Nook Mileage Program. This item you claimed via our redemption service is attached to this message. Thank you, Nook Mileage Program. That's what these will say. My pockets are too full, though, whenever you order stuff. And the Happy Home Academy. Ooh, they're letting me into their ranks here now that I actually have a home. Let's pop this hat on. I love my, you know, we'll put the Explorer's hat back on when we're actually exploring a little bit more number one t-shirt this is of course the uh, classic villager style as seen in smash brothers and city folk art and stuff like that and then the at this is you know when i want to really feel confident about myself i put on the big a and uh get going i think i'm, I'm gonna go with the uh oh not that <laughs> put back on the one it does match the the knit cap a little better let's go with this for now and then we'll uh We'll swap some stuff out later. I do need to check out my house, and we can drop things inside now that we have a little more room than that cramped tent. <gasps> Look at this place. Congratulations on the construction of your new home. Here are a few tips for comfortable living. Living. <laughs> We're living it up. Turn lights on or off. We've got to enter decoration mode and open storage. So, yeah, we can make, uh, we can change the lighting. I have some, uh, light bulbs that do different lighting levels in my own home. Enter decorating mode, and then we can easily design stuff just like Happy Home Designer. They added this in to Welcome Amiibo in, in the last game in New Leaf, but it's here from the beginning now for us, and we can open our storage to stash stuff. No more having to look in things, and we can just kind of throw stuff from our pockets or put them in storage. One of the huge upgrades to this game to make things more convenient so there we go we got like a kind of a i guess the natural light would be the more white light i like the kind of yellowy light a little more and then let's yeah let's go right on in to here and we can look at this just grab and drag stuff around speaking of old animal crossing i believe this is animal forest playing or was man called me a liar put on some pirate tunes 
right when I said that. And then, yeah, we can get into our pockets with X. Let's throw some shirts and stuff down. Since uh, I could probably put these, oops, changing the lighting on accident. There we go. Should probably, I was trying to move forward with the control pad, but that's for other stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll probably store some of this stuff rather than actually throw it on the ground. But that looks pretty good. I'd like some better shoes. I have a lot of yellow is the theme. Yellow tents, yellow, you know, everything. Let's put this in storage. I'm just gonna put a lot of stuff in storage. I do want to keep some of my mats here because you never know when you, uh, you need a good mat. Thanks again to my friend Matt for helping me with computer stuff. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I'm gonna need some of this stuff to craft things. We got our pole vault though, vaulting pole it's called in this, and that's gonna help us get over. I think I might just hold on to the shell because we'll probably sell that. I didn't clear up too much room. I'm gonna throw these in storage actually. Uh, hopefully I won't forget about them. But yeah, I didn't clear up that much room, but we'll have more room very soon here. As soon as I can afford it in miles. All right. Don't leave your lights on when you're going out like me in real life. No. <laughs> Tried to make a lot of connections to things that I want to achieve in real life, of course. I mentioned before we have challenges going on. Uh, challenge one, of course, get some glasses when I find some glasses. And then challenge two, if we get some more accomplishments, I'll talk about some more positive stuff. I don't have any others that I'm ready to introduce just yet, but you guys have been leaving a lot of really awesome challenges. I've been going through the comments bit by bit. There's a lot of them. Thank you guys so much for that. Congrats on your new home. Greetings from the Happy Home Academy. Our goal, we want to help you make your home the best that it can be. Look for more messages from us as you hone your home decorating skills. A housewarming gift is attached. I kind of imagine Lyle in his fast talking ways writing that one. If he's still working there, I don't know. Maybe he's moved up in the world. Got bored like Tom. I forgot we got this nice nook knapsack here with the leaf. I kind of spent a bunch of my miles on stuff I didn't necessarily need. There we go. This feels more explorer-y. I'm gonna... Yeah, I got that knit cap, but, you know, I'm gonna change it immediately. Oh, we got a wooden end table. Learned that. There we go. Thank you, Happy Home Academy, so we can finally, you know, place some stuff on tables. Probably gonna actually drop this outside so we don't have to go back in, and then later I'll put all this stuff. I could hang my retro radiator now on the wall thanks to having walls okay but yeah we got a couple challenges going i have a lot of good ones i've actually started to save up but i am going to wait on some of them until they're a little more appropriate like they have to do with having you know a villager move in or things that aren't going to happen for a little while longer i wonder what my other villagers are up to oh there's a little tommy roaming around you got any tips tommy tips coming right up adam Congratulations on your new home. A home is sure to open up so many possibilities for you. You'll be wanting stylish furniture for that new home, which you could always craft as DIY projects, but I recommend you check into the offerings from Nook Shopping. This is an ad. It does take a bit of time to get your order delivered, but they have a daily rotating selection of goods. That includes fashionable things that can be hard to get on an island. You can check out Nook Shopping at the Nook Stop and Resident Services. Give it a try. Don't mind if I do. Okay, now Nook Shopping is going to help me pretty ooh, soon here. Ah, lost it. That's all right. I want to make sure I'm getting my rocks as we go around, of course. So that's going to be very important. We are going to need quite ooh, a little too far. Quite a bit of iron pretty soon. Something that is uh, hard to come by if you just kind of get it from your island. But there's other islands we can visit in the future. We got a couple iron for that. I think we need like 30, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to try to remember stuff as I go. I do remember some of the big, you know, helpful tips and things as we play, but some of the little stuff from the beginning of the game here, I'm going to recall as we go along. But it, yeah, it's kind of the fun of not having the best memory or having played something in a long time as you get to re-experience it. So I do enjoy that. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there we go, we already got one of our Nook Miles Plus for digging up stuff, and then one will replace it. We wanna sell clumps of weed. Ooh, that's pretty easy. I did deposit some of mine, but I think I can get some more. Oh, there we go. Money, 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 money. I actually want Miles right now a little more than Bells. 
because I would like to be able to get some of the, the tickets to go visit other islands pretty soon. But there's a lot of handy stuff that you can get for Nook Miles. Excuse me leaving these holes around. Normally, I would probably cover them up. But right now, you know, we're, we're making a video. I don't want to spend too much time on that. I'm plucking weeds over here. <laughs> we're doing other very important things. I uh, They will fill in if I just leave them and we do a new day. And look, we got some oranges already. We did, yeah, my stuff grew obviously a little faster because we jumped ahead a bit. I figured this is a good time to uh, maybe skip a couple days to get back to present time because the villagers aren't gonna care that much that I've been gone if we're just at the beginning of the game. They don't nag you about stuff until later. One of my favorite improvements to this game is that a lot of the villager, you know, the things that people used to uh, be a little frustrated with or stressed about, they're not necessarily bad things, usually. Like, the villagers getting mad at you when you leave for too long, that's a... I almost see it as, like, it's adding a bit of personality to them, having them be, you know, maybe not the nicest is kind of one of the charms of the old Animal Crossing games. But now, it's really nice that they can't move away unless they talk to you. It's a little weird it's like you're, you're in charge of everything on the island including their entire lives but these animals can't even pick fruit for themselves so but yeah it, it is nice to not worry about that if you want to come back to your island the only thing you can expect is plenty of weeds all over the place i'm not going to go too crazy with orange trees i want to make sure we can get some bells here with some fruit from another island these oranges namely that mom sent me out here but yeah let's uh that's probably pretty good normally i if i wanted to just get a lot of bells fast i would be planting all of the oranges that i pluck you know just keep that going until you get a pretty hefty orchard built up but uh yeah i'm not too worried about it i feel like there's other ways to make bells in this game ah oh, man Thought I, okay, there we go. We got it on the second try this time. You have to be pretty quick to, to not have it just float away after you miss it, but they give you a little bit of leeway. The elevation of being <laughs> over the, the beach there might have messed with it. Okay, we got that rock. That's one thing that's handy about leaving holes all over the place. I know which rocks I have dug up. Oh, oh, here we go. Speaking of money. I did mention there's a more consistent way later of knowing when you can bury more bells to actually get some better reward for them. Oh, there goes my shovel. Oh no, thank you for your service, faithful shovel. But, yeah, the, the one of the things uh, I had learned, I was I tried it out before, or uh, Danny tried it out, and it didn't actually work, so I'll have to look into that a little more. I had heard there was a better way to make sure you get more money out of it, but maybe it's inconsistent. You get to a certain point in the game where maybe it doesn't matter that much and you can just throw bells into the ground. Oh, I need more hardwood. Let's check out what else we got. So we could make this little end table. That's cute, but it's also not anything that is going to be too essential. I'm going to wait on my mirror for now because we don't really have any more options than what we had before. I got to chop some wood, though. Look at, we need four hardwood, right? We were using a lot of hardwood recently. And we're gonna make sure left from my net. So if we get a get a wasp popping out, we're not gonna be in trouble. There we go. And then I can grab the snowflake while we're at it. I do need to, uh, if we're gonna be getting out of winter here pretty soon, maybe, maybe I'll gather a few snowflakes for a rainy day. Now this rock, this is a convenient, yeah, well we can't hit it just yet. You can hit a rock with a shovel, or uh, an axe, rather, but I don't know. I feel like the axe, oh, <laughs> speaking of which, the axe has other uses. My trusty, flimsy axe and my faithful shovel have both perished. Let's build that. Now, this is a lot of early on. You're going to be crafting the flimsy stuff quite frequently until you can get the better things. The axe, I almost always use the flimsy one. You're going to have to worry about chopping your trees down with that one, so we need to be a little careful about not using it. All right, and then ooh, I could leave that there. Let's do that because we're going to want to have our net next to the axe at all times. And then, oh yeah, we already did 
two of those, or one of them, before it broke. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, there we go. I was a little worried because the, <laughs> the stick almost sabotaged me. It was uh, in the spot where the hive should have fallen. We're going to have to get stung by a bee eventually, or a wasp eventually, here if we want to have a rite of passage and get some nook miles. Okay, that should be enough. We don't need to chop any more wood. I'm anxious to get to, uh, we're not anxious, I should say. I'm, I'm, I'm raring to, <laughs> to get over to the other spot. I was going to say, we're, we're having a nice laid back day on the island. That's what I want to try to keep emphasizing as we play. Take our time, enjoy things. Where did my shovel go? It's over here. There we go. Okay, now I got too much stuff. I'm gonna drop something real quick. I want to get a bag of 10 that we could do. I think you can do 10,000 and it's guaranteed. So let's let's do that and maybe we'll try up in the ante later. Or maybe 30,000 is the bigger one. I, I'm, I'm gonna refresh my money tree knowledge here between episodes. There we go. You guys will help me in the comments, of course. Everyone's very good at, you know, <laughs> so many people will have gotten into Animal Crossing or have been into Animal Crossing for a long time. It's very nice to, to always have some helpful people who know this game and the others like the back of their hand. We need to sell some of this stuff, I'm thinking. I'm going to leave my wasp nest so we can make medicine out of it. I'll just go ahead and stack these and then plop them down. And then, yeah, I got some snowflakes. Oh, that was my big pile. I'm gonna... Nope. <laughs> it's always fun to accidentally... Ba -ba. There we go. That's my favorite thing to do when I'm playing with someone else is just kind of walk around. There we go. Perfect. I think that's a full stack now. Just walk around and uh, and throw that s snowflake or uh, just a sea bass or something that I don't even need that much of. We had something with... with uh, I thought... Oh, weeds. We gotta sell a clump of weeds. Okay, good. I'll, ca I'll keep that on me. Pretty much want to sell most of this stuff except for the ones that are crafting. Oh, so you can, you don't destroy flowers if you run over them on accident, which is nice. Another, another thing to keep some of the stress out of this game. But you will uh, make them lose their flowers and then they'll grow them back. So you don't have to worry about that. And flowers, you don't really need to have a watering can water them unless you're trying to actually crossbreed. Did I? I must have hit this rock, right? I don't remember. Because we... Oh, my shovel was gone, so I probably didn't. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Gotta see that iron. This is get... I'm getting pretty, uh, pretty decent luck with some iron. We even got our first piece of gold, which that's pretty rare, so I'm happy about that. In the future, I will know my rock locations. You can even break them, and they'll pop up in a different spot. And then I'll probably put some stuff down around them where I won't have to dig these holes every time. We'll have more furniture and stuff. I like the look of my little guy a lot better than at the start of the episode already. Man, we're getting a pretty good amount of iron, I must say. Probably not above average, but it's helpful to make sure we stock up. I know iron was hard to come by when the game first came out because I was trying to like maximize the amount of stuff I could do in a day and you need a, a good amount of it to get your, your island going to the point where you can progress. I think it takes about a week to get some of that stuff going. Okay, I'm going to drop this off and then we will finally go see Mr. Nook. I'm going to see if I can get some good stuff here. While we talk to him, I've been keeping my explorer's hat on me. Don't necessarily need to, but I think I want to swap to it when we explore. And we do, remember, we got to get some more bugs and stuff. Man, I'm going to fill up my inventory with snowflakes, but that's okay. I want to get them while the getting them's good. Okay, Nook. Got anything else to teach me? I'm already ready to run off and just go, you know, Teddy and, and Shari are going to have to wait to get over there because I don't see... Them pole vaulting anytime soon. Oh, they're talking. What are you guys up to? Scheming? Trying to get more bells out of me? So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. 
The two of you have been training under me for how many years now, hmm? This should be a piece of cake. Oh, this is private business. Get out of here. Well, hello there, Adam. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper. And you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more! All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They basically sneak into your house while you're sleeping. It's creepy, but they gotta see your stuff somehow. I don't know. I mean, your furniture, your, your possessions. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to your new home loan. That'll be 99,000 bells, please. I'm pretty, you know, third of the way there, so. Okay. I <laughs> should ask, can I pay in miles? Ah, uh, don't worry, you can pay it back in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature of the Nook Stop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes lately. But I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium miles redemption item, a Nook Miles ticket. Ooh. We got a, our first one of many. Nook Miles Ticket is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, hmm? We want to improve our island, but still hold on to that deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes, go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I've left your ticket at the counter in the airport, so use it whenever your the travel mood strikes. Now then, go enjoy life in your freshly built home. Indeed. So we can start traveling and seeing if we can get some other villagers. Let's talk to Timmy real quick. Hello there, Adam. Congratulations on your new home. I have something I would like to chat about, if you have a moment, that is. It's a bit of a proposal, so if now's not a good time, I understand completely. No pressure. Sure. Good, very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might adopt Tommy. He needs a mentor. I might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing and our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I'm a bit limited in here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. Ah, but here's the thing. Building materials are hard to get, so can we get... Set some aside for building a shop. I really don't see it, since we'll need those materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, yes, you could gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and rocks. Our environmental review even suggests that there will be zero impact to native flora or fauna. Somehow we just chop trees, the wood falls out. I don't question it. It's an idealized animal utopia. Ah, but I'm getting off track. We'll need a lot of materials for a proper shop, and we will, of course, offer, offer compensation for your efforts. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, I know this is a lot, but I put together a list of the items I'd like you to gather. We'll need 30 pieces each of regular wood, hardwood, and softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. There we go. That's why we need it. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from this island or any other, and you can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. Normally, they would be like, don't bring wood from some other island. It could have a beetle that's an invasive species living in it, or, yeah. I've eaten a lot of trails I've been on in different parks. They're like, make sure you wipe your boots when you're, you know, going in and out of areas, because you could have, like, bug eggs and things you don't want to think about, but. Congratulations on upgrading to the Nook Miles Plus program. With this upgrade, you'll have access to even more redemption options. We hope you continue to enjoy the many benefits of the Nook Mileage program. Thank you. Please select from the following services. Okay, so just right out the bat, I don't want to worry too much about getting the better tools necessarily, custom designs. The tool ring is very, very useful. And then better pocket. You know, I'd love to have more space in my pockets. I'm going to worry about hairstyles and things later. I'm going to start with the tool ring, because that's just, that's a great quality of life upgrade. It's essential, they're saying so, but I agree, there's even an interrobang at the end. Here we go. Your order has been printed. Shove it right in my pocket. Now it looks different. Huh, okay. <laughs> I see, this totally makes sense. Poof. 
and it's gone. I learned how to easily switch tools. When I'm outside, I can press up to use the tool ring now. There we go. When we're inside, turns the lights on and off and annoys people. Let's see. So yeah, we don't have enough miles to do anything else, but I'm going to be working up towards the 5,000 to get that pocket organization guide. I think that is what I'm going to aim for. We'd have more miles if I didn't spend them on this little cute backpack and stuff, but you know, priorities. <gasps> The cool gnome! This is the one Danny's been looking for. This guy's bad to the gnome. Look at him. Skull and crossbow gnomes. Uh, there's too many puns here. He's got the cool sunglasses that we can't even get. The ones in this game don't look like the Squirtle Squad ones that are like one solid lens like he's got. They have like a rim. And that is... Mm, I'm gonna need to spend some money. MVP. Most valuable person. Only one on the island. No. My place. That's a nice little song. I think we got a, ooh, water shoes. Okay, I can order five things. I'm going a little crazy here. I'm gonna get my place, even though we don't have a thing to play it in. I like this Nintendo hat, that's not too bad. I'm gonna get one of these and then get a second one for Danny. <laughs> I think that's four out of the five things. <gasps> now I didn't buy these glasses or find them. They're just here, so that doesn't quite count. I'm gonna wait till I actually get glasses. I think I had that conundrum last time I hmm we got a good hat but you can always use another there we go I'm probably spending a lot of my money a little wantonly but let's do that Nook doesn't need to get paid back anytime soon I'm gonna wait till I have almost a hundred thousand then I'll do it all at once what do we got bell ringer spending your bells on the island helps revitalize the local economy yes yes I'll reward you with miles based on how many bells you've spent you could be using those bells to pay me. Invested shopaholic. There we go. And that is all she wrote. We do need a little... Yeah, let me review these. A little more wood, bugs, fish. Sell the weeds. There we go. And build some uh, snowmen. How can I help you? I would like to sell real quick before we see what he's got. Get rid of some of this stuff. I think that's all we're going to do. Look at the fine things you brought today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers and done. Nowhere near what I spent. That's like not even going to cover the gnomes I bought, I don't think. <laughs> it's about around there. Almost, yeah. I was going to say, almost exact maybe. And then, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. So if I'm trying to build the snowboys, we have to build... Oh, only one. Okay, I was going to say, you can't build two in a day, so that doesn't quite work. What did we said we had a a mile thing here milestone right there was an alert or did we just make progress towards one of them because i'm not seeing one okay let's get out there i don't think we oh no we do want to see what else he's got for sale real quick as if i haven't bought enough things an oil drum and a sleeping bag <laughs> and then he sells a bunch of tools and medicine Eventually, we should probably get some more, uh, I don't think he's got the better DIY tool stuff yet. All right, that's all we need for now. I think I'm good. I got a cot. I don't need a sleeping bag. We give that to somebody else. Okay, we're out of here. We got to keep our eyes open. Now, I got the dung beetle is, I think, one of the only winter things that is going to disappear. Bugs, you know, creature-wise, critters. Yo, Adam! Shari popped out from behind the tree. I almost didn't see her if we shouldn't have her pee feet. What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. Man, word spells... Sm <laughs> smells. Sorry, Shari. I was thinking about your your feet. Wor <laughs> word uh, goes... F travels fast, I'll just say. Ha! Knew it! Well, thanks for doing your part for Duckleberry. Oh, I got an idea. If you if we got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. What is that? So I figured out how to make the shovel from this awesome collection of DIY recipes I got with my Miles. If I remember right, it's called Pretty Good Tool Recipes. So far, everything I built from there has been super sturdy. Anyways, if you dig with that shovel, go get that collection. You'll be buried in shovels in no time, cheeky. I believe that's in the Nook shop, though. Ooh, nice. That's gonna be handy. Maybe I will try to remember to only use my fancy shovel that's not flimsy on 
the rocks and then it will never break. Oh, he's trying to get, so this dragonfly, the dar or damselfly, I believe is, is the one, is gonna go away at the end of the season. Gonna go away if Teddy catches it. Oh, Teddy, stop it, Teddy, I need this. I'm sorry, Shari. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy's tussling and Shari's sorry. I'm sorry. I just scared away her little fish. So yeah, I was gonna say I caught the bugs that we need, but I did not catch the, uh, there's two, I think it's the blowfish and the pond smelt I need to get. So let's see here. I want to make sure I've got my stuff in good positions. I like to have things like, yeah, like the net I would like to have up at the top here because you use that a lot. I think ones that are just, you're gonna need to grab a lot, like the fishing rod and the net are pretty good. And then I might actually reorder them in the way. And then yeah, the ax and the net should be next to each other. This is like a little puzzle, so that if I chop a tree, I can get stuff. I think uh, that's probably pretty good. I'll probably be using the pole vault a lot, and then the shovels, I'll have to remember they're on different ones. So I'm gonna go move these around. I think they're all, in the right order now. No, the slingshot goes before the shovel. I like to have them in the same order as my wheel so that I remember which one is where. So we got flimsy shovel, pole vault, vaulting pole. And there we go, okay. And then when I cycle through, if I need to do that, it's, it's easier for me to remember because the wheel is the same way. I forgot to sell the wasp that I got because we ran out of wood so it took that spot I think we're probably just about ready. I oh, do want to talk to Teddy real quick, and then let's head where the animals can't get us. Hey, Adam, long time no see. What are you up to? Me? I'm up to almost 7,000 push-ups a day. Bet you can't beat that. <laughs> He's so strong. He's got such a, such a big head. It's going right into the, uh, to the tree there. Ooh, I don't think we've caught one of these. Is that a paper butterfly? I forget what they're called. Yes! I caught a paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on toast? <laughs> butter, oh, I got the butter. I was gonna say, ugh. I don't know about that. Let's drop this off at Blathers so we're not having it clog up the inventory. I might leave my wasp. A wasp is worth saving. I did get the tip, of course, that certain, certain characters are gonna eventually come around and you would want them to have, uh, you know, access to your fish and your bugs to get some more money for it, some better bells. So I will save that. Every time I go by that spade that's outside the tent, I think it's like a big butcher knife <laughs> for some reason. Blathers, my boy. How are you doing? Reading? Good morning, Adam. Thank you for visiting. Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. I'm here to help. Ooh. Make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? We've got this beautiful butterfly to freak you out. Eek! A paper kite butterfly, what a wretched thing! Alas, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? Of course, please tell me. Ah, I see, in that case. Mm. With its black and white striped wing pattern, the paper kite butterfly is both elegant and pretty. Pretty poisonous, I mean! Oh dear, where was I? Oh yes. Even this butterfly's black and white striped larva and little golden pupa are toxic to predators. I think it's poop, <laughs> pupa, but <laughs> I heard someone say pupa when, when, back in the day. I don't even remember where or when it was, but it's just a fun way to say it now. Indeed, the paper kite butterfly's foul flavor is famous, and thus birds in particular steer clear of the fiends. This bird, most of all. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks. All right, so we got another bug. How many do we have left? We need 10 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued comfort beef shins. Woo! Get used to, uh, or not get used to, I was gonna say, <laughs> the tent, I, it's a little sad to see it go because it's one of the few little areas that barely sticks around, especially if you're someone who really likes to get things moving here and get your town going. So, I believe we've hit most of the rocks. I think it's time to pull Volt over. We can always drop things around. Sometimes I go into the inventory, even though I have the wheel, just to to grab the thing I want specifically. Ah, the snowballs have started to appear over here. Now, that's one of the things, something that always happens in games. The more areas you unlock, the more, you know, 
Oh, I didn't mean to kick that. Or the more things you get. Jeez, that one disappeared immediately. Probably went into the snowball. The more things you get, the more things you have to do, obviously. So it's like, okay, now the snowballs are harder to find because there's multiple areas they could be. Stuff like that. But, of course, the challenge is going to ratchet up in any game. All right, I got to listen. Talk amongst yourselves. Feel the fish. Looks like a big one. It's a nibbling. Oh, okay, this is going to be it. There we go. So if it doesn't do it on the first four, it's always the fifth. Oh, <laughs> the sentient tire. I caught an old tire. Sure, I'm tired of that, even though it was my first one. This old tire could be repurposed. Thinking about a couple of llamas and what they taught me in the old days. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. I can't believe that tire was giving me the runaround like that. So you can get trash, and it can be useful. It's not just the old boots of yore that are just, you know, just gonna be stinky and you gotta recycle them and get rid of them. I like, it. yeah, stuff has progressed a lot. There used to be a dump in the first, uh, first Animal Crossing, and now, and then there was, you know, repurposing stuff at the DIY, or selling them to Reese and Cyrus. But now, oop, there we go. Now we can actually repurpose them ourselves. Whoa! Look at the two eyes on one side. Yes, I caught an olive flounder. That's not the pits. We got the olive in there. I don't have to explain every pun, but I'm thinking about it because I'm trying to make sure I get the jokes. <laughs> now, this is the pier. This is useful because certain fish will only appear here. Man, the puns are they're like a little worm ruining my brain. I'm getting immersed in the game. That's what I should say. Oop, there we go. Is this going to be a special pier fish? No, it's the little baby cousin. Yes! I don't think they're that related. I caught a dab. Not bad. The eyes are a little less weird on that one. Yeah, I have so little inventory. I'm going to need to go donate these soon. To my... Who is this? Gloria. To my faraway reader, I cannot stop thinking about this furniture I saw in a dream, so I have turned it into a DIY recipe. I cannot keep this idea to myself, so I've placed it in this bottle. May it inspire you to action. Best wishes, Gloria. What is this? A pond stone? Hmm. Pond... Not a stone pond? A pond stone. I gotta see what that looks like. Oh, we did earn something. Nope. Don't want to go into that. I think, can I, I can't remember if you can move, yeah, I was going to highlight it, I was like, can I move the apps around? I think they just get moved naturally when you unlocked more. Oh, this, yeah, it's one of these. So there is a, uh, a version of this with cherry blossoms that we can eventually get as well. Oh yeah, I need to make sure I get my nook. Miles go in. Oh, it's saying, oh, new, because we got, yeah, we're getting trash. I'll look at that when we actually achieve it. So it's telling me when I have new ones unlocked, even when I haven't gotten them fully. This might be too much. Oh no, we got some room. All right, these are donations. This is for keeping. And then we got a couple shells, so if we don't have any redundant shells, we're not gonna be able to pick them up. Man, we just got over here and I gotta go throw some stuff at the old owl, but we're getting some good. Yeah, we got a couple others. Hmm. Let's try this out. I'm going to get this fish because it's here. But otherwise, I would say our pockets are full. Oh, I want to try to get my streak going. Shouldn't jinx myself, though, because that's a tough thing. It's very easy to <laughs> catch a second tire. Oh, I can't swap or I can't stack those, I guess. Oh, no. Man, the bad with the bad. It's the opposite of, uh, oh, now I can pick it up. I guess that's the good with the good there. Tires, trash are too, too big, and they are going to be kept together like that. I'm not even using my ring. I have to remember I have it. One, uh, yeah, I was going to say, one, one good thing with the vaulting pole is that will never break on you. It doesn't snap while you're in the middle of the air and just drop you in the river and you wash away or anything. As funny as that would be. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, I should start, oh, Ooh, didn't mean to get a lot. <laughs> there we go. I remember to use my ring. It's that's is it coming in or going out? Yeah, it's coming in. Okay, this should just be money. There we go. Is that our first balloon? Oh no, my pockets. Too much stuff. I gotta get some miles going here because we really need. If this is uh, yellow balloons, frequently are bells. So 
we should be able to get... Yep, there we go. I can pick this right back up. The bad with the bad, or the bad becomes the good. I know that, yeah, there's a popular saying, so if you're a Pokemon fan, you know Farfetch'd, or Kamonegi is, uh, it's a duck leak. Uh, but yeah, the, the saying, the, the, the name of it, the Japanese name, Kamonegi, comes from the saying about a duck walking in carrying a leak. It's like a good thing that comes with another unexpected good thing with it, but I had like a bad thing with a bad thing there was what I was trying to say. <laughs> But, actually, both of them had things that ended up working out. Okay, let's put this there. I didn't put on my explorer's helmet. I will, I'm gonna leave the bandana here. I think we can just hang it on the wall. Let's go ahead and do that. Get into my pockets. We want to get up onto the wall. I think we just kind of move towards it, if I remember right. Or can we hang stuff yet? Where is it? There it is. Oh, I want to put it on the wall. There we go. It's all coming back to me. We don't want to sleep. We want to get back out there. Okay, anything else I can drop off here? We're going to sell the shells. I need to make a new fishing rod. So we'll do that on the way back out. I remember to put my helmet on, though, so we're ready to explore a little bit more. And then maybe we'll finish up with the don donations. Ooh, what did we just get there? Uh, board reward. Put more furniture in your house. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles based on the number of indoor furniture items you have, so you're earning rewards for making your house a home. So yeah, it's not only the interior sort. It's not the, just the Happy Home Academy that's spying on me. It's like Nook, obviously, is uh, is doing a bit of that. How much iron do we have? Twelve? Or no, nine. Not, not too shabby, but could definitely use some more. I'm going to drop... Ooh. Might as well uh, just kind of drop some of the stuff that I'm going to sell to Nook out here. And then if I forget about it, it will be funny because it will be in front of Nook <laughs> when he does his announcements. He's like, uh, we've got a, I'm gonna a quick announcement here. Anyone who's leaving shells, could you not do that? We do need this area clear. I'm leaving your switch out in the snow. Okay. I'm gonna make a rod real quick. Yeah, the sooner I can get the better tools, the better, because then you can get like 30 uses out of them. And then later, there's even ways to extend that, so. Uh, we should probably make a snow boy if I can find the stuff. I'm going to also leave these down here. You don't want to be a little too close to water when you do this, because you might actually throw a sea fish into the river, which is, you know, horrible for the fish, but you don't get chastised for it or anything. Ooh, look at him go. Little pancake. Stunfisk, speaking of Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, <laughs> if you're too close, the bugs you can release anywhere, and that's, a, that's obviously a little sad, but if you're too close to the, the water, you might accidentally release a fish. So, there's one snowball. Hey! <gasps> Somebody's been rolling my snowballs around. A certain dung beetle. Oh, we have... Oh, I like that flower. I forget what it's called. Is it a mum? I think so. That's a nice looking flower. It's up on a cliff where we can't get it. But it's pretty cool looking. If I'm not that worried about... <laughs> we, d we just have to build a snow folk, right? We just need to make one... If I'm not that worried about getting snowy furniture thing, you know, we got one. We might try something here. <laughs> I might do something ill-advised. Something... I'm gonna play God for a moment. <laughs> here we go, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, the one's not big enough yet. I need to... I gotta back up. This is... My little Frankenstein is gonna be born here. Or this is too big. Come on. You know I I got to be able to do this. <laughs> you could do it in the old games. Do we dare? Do we dare create the ultimate creature, the ultimate life form? <laughs> it's not going to work. They're not going to let me. Maybe they just need to be really close in size and then I can have a slightly comically larger snowboy's head. I want to try this again. Let me give it one more roll this way. Ooh. I don't know what happens if it gets in the sand. We get a gross 
snowboy that looks like he fell into kitty litter is my guess. How about now? <laughs> it's not letting me. <laughs> I really want to make this work. But the game says no, your snowboys are too... <gasps> it worked! <laughs> He's off camera. <laughs> what is going on? Bud, crafting the perfect snow person isn't a skill that comes easily. I get it. But this is ridiculous! Were you not wearing gloves? Did you sneeze while putting me together? Come on! <laughs> Build a horrible abomination achievement. There we go. Oh, we're not going to get miles for that, but I, you see, I got it either way. I'm not too worried about perfect snowflakes. Oh, we just got one of those olive flounders. Nothing for me. I think my body's going to collapse under the weight of my head. <laughs> You look great. I don't even know what that is for your nose. It's not a carrot. This little body is a hard time supporting my big head. On the plus side, I'm very smart. Smart enough not to reward me for doing this. I know I was just born today, but for some reason, I just don't feel like a kid. I'm an old soul, I guess. One more. It's my birthday today. Cake sounds yummy, but no candles, please. Okay, he stopped commenting on how he's uh, some sort of abomination. I want to check the dock occasionally, because... You never know if you're gonna get a rare fish out there. Let's see, we did get our, yeah, we got some of the more important stuff from going over to this side of the island. We got our shells, of course, no. We got our, uh, we got the message in the bottle, the DIY recipe we learned, so that's good. There's, an, there's a couple islands off in the distance, maybe we'll get to visit those. Get a little glimpse of the rocks up here. Look how many levels there are, and we can't climb. Not with these little spoons. Hopefully, pretty soon we'll be able to. I got a couple new species, but not quite enough to get that going. I would like to make sure I'm getting all the rocks. Oh, here we go. This counts as a donation. I'm gonna use the flimsy for this. I saw this earlier. I'm sure a bunch of you did too. Look, I dug up a fossil. So we're gonna take that over to Blathers. He mentioned he can identify those for us. Bonafide fo bone finder. Congratulations on finding your first fossil. Of course, you'll need some Nook Miles to commemorate the occasion, but don't celebrate too hard. There are more fossils to dig up. Yes, yes, discovered a fossil. Okay, so that is a nice step forward. And there's another one. <laughs> our first quickly followed by our next, I think there's at least four each day. I feel like there's some variation where you can maybe get more, but maybe that's my memory of the game playing tricks on me. Let's go ahead and, ooh, wrong way. You can dig weeds up too if you don't feel like picking them up, but I don't recommend it. Not the best use of your shovel. Let's do this. And then this fancy classic Animal Crossing looking shovel is gonna be our rock hitting one. Which, honestly, you should just use a bad shovel for that, now that I'm thinking about it. Because, like I said, if you only hit rocks with it, it will never break. Because it won't let it break in the middle of hitting the rocks. So, ooh, let's just drop these. So we can get some stone. And then it was the clay that was the problem, because I dropped that clay off. Oh, no! The clay! I'm going to get the rest of this so I can stack it. And then we'll drop something else. Yeah. Sorry, little sea snail. I love the little, yeah, turban snails and stuff. They're, some of those can be kind of creepy. I was actually thinking of the turban slime from uh, from Dragon Quest is really cute, but now I'm remembering that the <laughs> the snails in real life can have some weird eyes. Oh, he's gonna... Sorry. Sorry, we discovered a new dinosaur, but uh, I had to bury it again because I was holding too much junk. Let's get rid of the sand dollars. I think those are the... One of the less valuable, uh, ooh, there's too many weeds. <laughs> Sorry, I'm throwing stuff everywhere. I'm sure this is bothering some people, but this is early days. We have very little pocket space. Some stuff is just worth more than others. Let's just enjoy, no, 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 no. I guess I don't need to, <laughs> picked it just to drop it. I don't need to uh, bury that hole again or anything. Let's just enjoy the beautiful waterfall. And, uh, that, ch okay. I think that, let's check the map, because I'm trying to remember what the layout is. There is another, okay, we can pull Volt over to that other part. Maybe, if it has a rock, I should definitely get that. 
But otherwise, we might want to save exploring some of the rest of this because my pockets are full. Let's give it a quick look around what we got here. I can always use some more of these early on. I want, yeah, look at all the mums we got. They're all over the place. I hope that's the right name of that flower. And my memory's not messing with me. Ah, uh, these fossils are like guaranteed new donations for the most part. So I should be trying to get those. We got a Venus comb, right? <gasps> There's a bug we don't have. I'm gonna have to, yeah, leave some of this stuff around because otherwise we're missing out on new catches. There we go. We only need one wharf roach. This water loving roach has no pier. We just found the pier. Ironically, I don't think they go on the pier, they go on the rocks. Let's see. Yeah, because the wharf would normally be where you'd think they would be. Can't go all around to the secret beach just yet. There's one fossil here I'd love to get. I almost had the thought that it was a pitfall. I think the least valuable thing we have here, honestly, is just we can drop the clay for now because we don't really need that quite yet. And uh, there's some cool stuff to, to craft with it, including a Tanuki statue, which has a really fun feature. I hope we get that recipe sometime. Uh, but yeah, the the little clay that we've got so far isn't going to do much for us compared to stone and iron. I could have tried to get that fish. It was tempting me, but we need to go to Blathers, and we need to drop some other stuff off. I'm just going to do this. Drop some of my valuables, of course. The giant clams, I believe, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of crafting stuff with shells, but I think the giant clams have more of a use, if I'm remembering right. Okay, so we got all the fossils. We got the wharf roach. I'm gonna go ahead and consolidate my iron real quick. There we go, we got 11. We're almost halfway to getting all the iron that the nooklings need but not quite there. Let me go grab my other donations. We're gonna finish up by donating some stuff, getting some good info, an educational finish to this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it if you stick all the way around till the end, if you're you know, a connoisseur of bug and fish and dinosaur knowledge, <laughs> as I am. But, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I do appreciate you guys sticking around. If I can remember where I put the museum, we'll be all good. Yeah, it's right over here. There we go. What's that bucket of water for, Blathers? You're trying to freeze it and see what happens. I used to freeze stuff in water as a kid. I was really into like putting a toy in a cup of water and then putting it in the freezer. And then, well, Star Wars had a big resurgence when I was younger because the prequels came out. So I was big into being like, oh, Han Solo's in carbonite. He's or been cryogenically frozen or whatever because he's in the ice. Let's uh, <laughs> let's start with the. The things that are still living here. Let's gross them out. Eek! A wolf roach? What a wretched thing! Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Please tell me. Ah, I see. The wolf roach is an omnivore, which is merely a polite way of saying it will eat almost anything. This skittering scavenger and his uncouth appetite can help keep beaches clean, it's said. But I dare say their long antennae, my bulging eyes, and bulging. <laughs> not his bulging eyes. And bulging eyes turn my stomach. Unappetizing indeed. Any hoot. Let's see what else we got here. He's gonna actually probably talk about the dab and the. You can donate multiple things with with stuff, but I want to hear the yeah, the different. Well, right now actually he doesn't let me donate multiple stuff. It looks like. Woo! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo. This is undoubtedly an olive flounder. Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your olive flounder? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. See, he's so much nicer about fish. Did you know that the olive flounder is the same shape as other fish when it hatches? But as it grows, it gets both wider and flatter, and can reach some three feet long. These flat fish spend much of their lives buried underneath the sandy ocean floor, waiting for prey to happen by. Imagine the surprise for said prey when they strike. It would be as if your kitchen floor were to bite you. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. You should probably mention, yeah, because they feel like the, the dab and the flounder are very similar looking. Let's see if he brings up the flounder when we give him this. Can't wait for my, uh... Oh, I don't have better shoes yet. Hooty-hoo, this must be a dab! 
Thank you. Sometimes he's hoo hoo, sometimes he's hooty hoo. Oh. The dab is a flatfish that bears some resemblance to the olive flounder. There you go, yes. Getting ahead of me, you little upstart. Though their mouths are different, personally I am morbidly fascinated by each fish's eye placement. The dab's eyes are both on its right side, while the olive flounders are on the left. These fish spend lots of time lying on their sides in the sand, so the old eye placement makes some sense. But it's how can I put this creepy, viscerally disturbing, profoundly upsetting to fans of symmetry? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Alright, let's see if he'll identify all of our fossils at once here. I've got something. Lots of these. We'll see, he might need to take one at first. Hoo! Indeed, there can be no doubt this is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter to wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. This first one's gotta be new. Hoo -hoo! After some consideration, I can sound like the Pillsbury Doughboy being poked in the belly. I can safely declare this fossil to be a plissio body. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This plissio body would be a sizable step towards opening a museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? I'm donating it. Hoot! Hoot! How wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved plissio body. Please, dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. So you can get the ones for the dinosaurs multiple times, so I'll have to remember we got this part already. Wonderful, tis fascinating stuff I assure you. Now where to begin? Ah, uh, yes, the Plesiosaurus is a classic of the ancient reptile world. That long, graceful neck, the wee little head, and the plump, turtle-like body make for a striking silhouette. You might know it as Lapras. Incidentally, despite the Saurus name, it wasn't actually a dinosaur. Common error, it would... But they were surely a magnificent sight. Majestic, rather. Swimming in those ancient seas like a long-necked rubber ducky. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope they can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Yes, now then... Oh, only specimens such as myself can appraise, uh, specialists such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. The supplies of the fossils, I think he said. From now on, do please bring me any fossil of unknown origin you find. Whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. With this, we need six donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your continued contributions. Ooh, he kicked me out. Let's do a few more here to finish up. And we're going to assess. There we go. So now we can assess. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. We can get all of them done and then donate them after. So then he'll speed that up a little bit. Remember when you used to, if you played the original, had to send them in a letter to a museum to assess them? Man, I used to write those letters out as a kid until eventually I was just like, fossil, you know the drill. <laughs> Ooh, more than one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? These are rare fossils, each and every one, and have not appeared in our collection. I say you have quite the knack for finding valuable fossils. I am terribly jealous. I only hope I can convince you to donate these and help expand our little museum. In the meantime, I shall return them to you. But do think on what I said. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Give them back for now. Thank you. Is there anything else to help with? Yeah. Let's do some donations. What do we got? Spino tail. Dinoni torso and amber. We'll start with that. It's a little less exciting, but it's what made Jurassic Park possible, of course. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, could it be? It is some amber. I never thought I'd laid eyes on such a well-preserved amber. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Wonderful, tis fascinating stuff I show you. Now, where to begin? Amber is formed from the sap of ancient trees that hardened over time. Because of its beauty, is often been traded and used as jewelry throughout history. However, individual specimens may contain ancient plants or insects trapped inside them. These are valuable resources for learning about ancient areas, such as when the dinosaurs roamed. And this is why they are sometimes displayed in certain <clears throat> exceptional museums, like mine. Don't get a big head there. And there you have it, fascinating stuff, no? He didn't mention getting the blood out of them and them getting stuck in the sap and then getting the dino DNA and all that stuff. 
I don't know if that was, I feel like us, our scientists would be like, but you can't do that. They probably wouldn't talk like Teddy, but they'd probably be like, like Jurassic Park couldn't happen. Maybe someday we'll be lucky enough to get eaten by a dinosaur. Oh, a dinoni to I've never laid eyes on such a well-preserved dinoni torso. Mm. This is a, I'm sure he's abbreviating the name, so I'll do my best to pronounce it. Now, where to begin? Um, yes, you may not have heard of Deinonychus, Dino, Deinonychus, Chus, <laughs> but you may well heard of its cousin, the Velociraptor, which is actually really little in reality. I think the Utah Raptor is the one in Jurassic Park, basically. Both were predators distinguished by their frightfully huge toe claws. They also likely had feathers. The main difference between them, size. Deinonychus was about seven feet tall and weighed 160 pounds. It still weighs less than I do, but a little taller. Little Velociraptor on the other wing was a compact two feet tall and weighed only about 33 pounds. I've heard some people meeting celebrities are often surprised at how short they are in person. And that is what I have to say about that. He's throwing shade on the Velociraptor that we all know and love. I feel like, yeah, I could see if we got a real Jurassic Park, they probably wouldn't call it that because it's a licensed thing and also the death involved with that the franchise would be scary to people wanting to visit. But a real Velociraptor probably wouldn't kill a person too easily. Probably the size of a small dog. Woohoo! A spino tail and a spinosaurus. That's something that's scary. If I Jurassic Park 3 taught me that, of course. <laughs> Let's hear it, buddy. Wonderful! Uh -huh, yes, the Spinosaurus was a very large carnivorous dinosaur, roughly the size of a T-Rex. Unlike its more famous cousin, however, Spinosaurus seems to have spent a great deal of time in water. Similar to modern crocodiles, this creature lived on a diet of fish and land-dwelling animals. Personally, I am simply relieved that it did not seek flying prey. If his ancestors were gone, maybe Lathers wouldn't have been here. Okay. The ancient owls of the extinct uh, decidui that... Blather shares his little fancy bow tie and stuff with <laughs> All right, we're three donations away. Man, we are so close. So I think next time we're going to have that finish. Thank you so much for sticking around and uh, and bearing with all of that blathering on. I do really appreciate it. Next time, we got some stuff to do. We did talk to Teddy, right? Because he didn't give me anything like, Shari, what's up, Adam? I had a feeling. Hey, I heard you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. Good hustle, Adam. I found something that might help things along. Here you go. Oh, jeez. Put that in the toilet, Teddy. Oh, no. I was going to make these iron nuggets into some free weights, but having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get a shop, the faster we can just buy free weights. Go, Team Duckleberry. Groof. Thank you, buddy. I could use that. Oh, five. Big spender. He's probably been punching some rocks or something to to get some of this. How much is that? 16. We are halfway to our iron goals, which is pretty good, I would say. I'm going to drop that down. I'll make sure I grab these later to sell. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're done exploring for the day, so I will take off my explorer's hat i appreciate you being here oh no i got hat hair if you would like to leave a like or a thumbs up i do appreciate that as well and if you want to subscribe or hit the notification bell of course there will be more on the way we're gonna be pretty close to the end of winter here oh i gotta take that off to get my bandana i'm gonna cover up my uh hair that i cut myself and we'll hang that on the wall again they always put it way too high. <laughs> My little arms can't reach that. Thanks again for watching. If you want to, uh, yeah, all the stuff I just said, you got the picture. I'll see you guys next time once we move. I like putting this over my bed, so then it's like, you know, explorers at rest. Thanks again, and we'll be heading out. See you in the next episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Goodbye.